This is a so-called dry cell. It is a simple device to fission water into oxyhydrogen gas. The ancient Chinese already knew about the electrolysis of water. Today it is much more efficient than Faraday's first experiments 200 years ago. We'll show you how to build this device from materials available at a local hardware store. The gas is cheap to produce from pure water and environmentally friendly. It is flammable and contains more energy than crude oil or natural gas. It even has more energy than the electricity needed for electrolysis. The energy naturally comes from the water itself. The electrolysis is just a stimulus to the water, like the spark of a lighter, like the cranking of a motor, or like a skipper on a yacht setting sails. They all just unleash other, more powerful forces of nature. And we'll show you this here. Of course, this is not a closed energy cycle, so there is no violation of the energy conservation law. This is so heiß. This is so hot, the stone melts into glass, tungsten melts, titanium melts, iron and steel melt. All you need is mild soap suds and electricity. We can use it for heating, welding, even for driving cars. Water is full of energy and we believe it is more eco-friendly than gas. We can create heaven on earth. That's why we are here. I want a solution that everyone can copy. It has to be simple. We can only verify for ourselves if something is possible. Here we have free television at last. That's a contradiction. <laughs> this is fun, seeing all of us at work. You can now build your own dry cell with materials from the hardware store and with the comprehensive manual that comes with this DVD. This is an entirely free public experiment. Imagine heating a house without any emissions. Wouldn't that be a sensation? And perhaps one day we will replace gas with water entirely. Feel that. Feel the exhaust. They're wet. Wet. Do you feel it? I built such a device for myself and went to their vehicle inspection. I showed them what it does, explained the backgrounds, and I wanted a license for use in my car. They shook their heads and told me, oh no, this is manipulation on a licensed vehicle. We can't accept that. Then I told them, there are thousands of others already driving around in Germany and even more worldwide. And then I thought, okay then, kiss my bumpers. <laughs> 125 cubic centimetre Honda, only running on oxyhydrogen. I recently uploaded a video of a generator also running entirely on oxyhydrogen. So to say, the engine runs on water. I won't say I'm at over unity, but at least over Faraday. But this is not the last word. We are continually evolving the concepts. Worldwide, we are already thousands of developers experimenting daily, and everyone comes up with new ideas. It is such a pleasure to see what we are all achieving together worldwide. This balloon is filled with water. Now, now watch, it flies. This is flying water. I first have to give, then I will receive. This is why I came here, driving 800 kilometers in my free time. Life always gifts us in return. We have to learn to live like this again. We do not always need to receive. Look at an apple tree. It needs just one apple to reproduce. But how many apples does it gift us? 400 kilos or more every year. This is the law of abundance. 
it is one of the fundamentals in life. We will experience this again. Now is the year where everything starts. It is the beginning, no matter what.